good morning, good afternoon, and good night to everyone in the YouTube world. I am super excited today because we are in San Juan, Puerto Rico. We're gonna go to the gym, get a quick workout in, and then uh, after that, get ready and go eat and then go to the island. Now the ship is rocking quite a bit, and I wonder why. So I'm about to look outside and see why that is. Can't deny that's a gorgeous view though, behind the theater. Look at all that. Oh my gosh, that looks so close to the water. Great workout, but you really gotta be there when it opens at 6 a.m. Otherwise, you're gonna have trouble finding a machine. Wow, it's windy and the waves are huge. They might look little on camera, but in person, I swear they're big. Yeah, there are moments like these where I remember seeing all of this on, on other videos and like prototypes and the, the making of these ships and now that I'm really here looking at the real thing I mean if you really want something you're gonna go for it that's really I mean it just comes down to priorities so I appreciate all you guys thanks for liking and subscribing just looking forward to go to San Juan Puerto Rico which I've never been so it's not a new country because it is part of the United States now we are towards the very back on the eighth deck I was just up there somewhere I came down to this pool because I wanted to get this view for you guys. So I woke her up after the workout. She's really mad right now, so don't even talk to her. Don't even mind her. <laughs> she wants to eat. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so we're going to have a quick breakfast. Come back to the room, get ready for San Juan, Puerto Rico. I still got to research on what we're going to do exactly. So either way, it should be fun. Basic breakfast with my coffee. No worries there. And my chocolate. Beautiful, beautiful morning so far. So 10 a.m. Going to get off a little late. So it's like 10, 15, 10, 30. Then we're going to get off. Lots of things to see. All my good friends, you know who you are. You've been telling me about this place. This area is always so beautiful. I love the gateway. The latitude spot right in front of me. Sam Cook. We are about to set foot in Puerto Rico on this channel for the very first time. Let's do it. Ready? <laughs> Who's that? The elephant tower. One day you will have to answer for your actions. And God will not be so merciful. No, the, oh, oh, that is the elephant towel. I see, I see. Is it high? Is it high? Yeah. <laughs> Bienvenido a Puerto Rico. Okay. We're gonna walk around. I think we're gonna hit a coffee shop first on the way to the forts and the churches. Oh my god, look at the carnival celebration from this angle. It is incredibly massive. We have another one over here, Adventure of the Seas. And then we have the Norwegian Jade right on that side. But my goodness, that ship is large. All right, we just started walking because we did some shopping unexpectedly. <laughs> All right, let's go to a very nice coffee shop that I actually found. Cuatro Sombras Coffee. So we have the cold brew and we have the iced latte. Yeah, beauty. Here's a coffee shop. It looks very beautiful. Lots of people hanging out. All right, I like the vibes here. Only Lord knows coffee makes this woman happy. <laughs> I say I like to travel because we find different coffees all around the world. At Cuatro Sombras, two coffees for $15 US. Uh, quite expensive. Was it worth it? Yeah, of course, of course it was. In only about a 10 minute walk from the cruise port, we have Puente Traices. You have to pass through Paseo de la Princesa, which is a very nice little walking and shaded area. These doors are over there. How interesting. It's named after St. John the Baptist. San Juan Gate is named after St. John the Baptist. It was used to be controlled through five gates. The last remaining gate that exists today, San Juan right here, this used to be one of the five entrances back 
hundreds of years ago. Paseo del Morro. So this trail, it just goes around the city walls. All right, we are inside the city walls. You're like locked out. <laughs> what did you learn? So there's three miles of walls around San Juan, and this was the symbolic gate that, like I said earlier, that's where the dignitaries went through. So apparently, if you were locked out, well, if it was closed, but they're not gonna be able to open it until the morning. So you're, you would have been pretty much locked out if you were partying outside the walls. Oh, sure, I'll take a little handful. Just a little bit, thank you. You want a little bit of food? Look guys, I'm sorry for the interruption in the episode, but I have to feed my cats, my best friends. Look, that one's looking at you, look. This one, looking right at you. They're so cute. You want me to scratch you? You want me to scratch you? Okay. You okay? Like they're not scared of people. No. That's true. Wow. Okay, we just came from down here, guys. But if you really want to come through the main entrance, you're going to want to go over there. It is beautiful out here. It's been raining, like kind of like sprinkling a little bit. But this is gorgeous. So we just got here after we got rained on in Castillo San Felipe del Moro. Um, it is actually part of the National Park Service. So if you're one of those that have the booklet, Everybody who has it knows what I'm talking about. They actually have those here. Um, it only costs $10 for two castles. So here in Castillo de San Felipe and another one, Castillo San Cristobal, which is about a mile from here. And that is $10 per person. And that's two castillos, San Cristobal, San Felipe. The oldest part of the whole Morro. So I think it's 1503, like really early 1500s. But uh, she was reading that um, this is basically the first part and then the rest of it was in the 1700s to what it looks like today. Follow me guys. Alright, we're inside a little viewpoint from here, San Felipe, and it echoes a lot in here. I like that. That's pretty cool. Really good shade too. And look at the views are amazing. The stories and memories that these walls have within it must be crazy. People have died, been born, eat, lived, everything, everything. It's amazing to me these these uh, these historical places, and I like that they keep them, you know, well maintained and things like that for us to enjoy. So, again, ten dollars per person. Um, a heck of a deal if you ask me, because you get to learn and just see this and take photos. So on level four, this is the area that if you come down from that big ramp right there, we walked all the way here. Now this is the area where they actually put the, uh, I think it's called the battery level, but basically all the cannons were here shooting out into the enemies in the ocean or all around. The Castillo San Felipe right in front of us over here. It was a great time. It took about 45 minutes to an hour to explore. One of the best things to do here in San Juan. We're going to explore the rest of the town and uh, try to take cover from this crazy wind. Let's go. Here it is, the church. The second oldest cathedral in the Americas, built in 1540. You will find Basilica San Juan. So the founder is Ponce de Leon, and he is actually buried inside. And for any of your travel needs, you want to ask her. She's an actually a part-time travel agent. Actually, we're both doing it together, so we can book you any cruise. Uh, we can recommend a lot of tours, usually with the aider, or we can even research for you, make you plans. Just email us, message us.
Awesome, guys. Just explored the second oldest church in the Americas. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, no fee. You can make a donation if you want. There is no fee to get in. So please visit Cathedral of San Juan. Oh. <laughs> Parque de las Palomas is where you want to be if you like pigeons. There's a lots of them. There's hundreds right over there. Come over here, look. It's kind of stinky. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Well, if you want a tour of the skinniest, smallest house in Puerto Rico, you can come here. Five dollars per person. Oh my gosh. That's it. Look how skinny that is. That is cute. San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm gonna miss it because we've been here six hours and we got to see just a few major landmarks and things to do here. So, four out of five for me. San Juan is beautiful. I want to come back. Definitely need way more than just a few hours here. So, if you're ever on a cruise ship, if you want to watch this video and see the places that we stop by and uh, lots of free things and uh, inexpensive things to do here. Definitely recommend it. This is a pastelillo. It looks like a fried empanada and it's got beef in it. So I chose the beef. There's also cheese. But one of these and a water here at the food truck area, $5. Time to dig in into the pastelillo de carne. Mm. Did not get any beef yet. I'm almost there. All right, here we go. Biting into the beef. Mm. Yeah, like a little bit of a greasy empanada. Pastelillo, this is what it's called. Yeah, this, this whole area has food trucks. So now we are going to say bye to San Juan, Puerto Rico and head back home to the ship. Pretty much. See you later San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's been a long day. It's been a very long day. And not enough time guys. I think it's a little monkey friend. I think... Little... Little monkey. No, it might be a frog. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Exploring San Juan, Puerto Rico. It was amazing. Um, I really recommend this place. Probably would want to do it not from a cruise standpoint, but just like flying in, staying for like a week, honestly. Maybe, in a, maybe even exploring the whole island. Well, one thing, if you guys do not know, to come to Puerto Rico, you actually don't need a passport because it is a territory of the United States. So just keep in mind, you can even come here with an ID, a driver license of any kind. All right, more tips for Puerto Rico, especially for the females. Look at my hair. So it is crazy as hell. <laughs> um, if you come to San Juan in one of your port stops, buy or bring with you some anti-humidity spray because my goodness lord especially if you're that kind of girl that wants like really pretty hair in your photos the humidity is just wild san juan is very walkable although if you do have bad knees you have to be more wary of it because it's very hilly so just watch out for that they generally take you know cash in u.s dollars obviously because it is a u.s territory they they take a lot of visas and mastercards um some of them take amex but i would just say if you're like an amex person or amex person however you say it um i would probably make sure just bring a visa as well because sometimes they do not take amex all right we're gonna try the deco deli today just got back from san juan puerto rico they have lots of sandwiches 12 sandwich options so we have well from the deco deli which is included so no extra cost back there 
we have the pan con lechon. It has pork right there, onions, and it's on Cuban bread. Looks absolutely delicious. And then we have the hot dog. They have 12 different sandwich options, and then they got the hot dog here. It's got chili, sauerkraut, I think, and some onions on the bottom. It looks very delicious. I can't wait for this. Let's see. this it is really really good there's some sauce on it that makes it I don't know so juicy so good and we got the hot dog looks delicious let's, let's try it mm. Mm. a very solid four out of five really good mm. I don't know folks we might have to book the Mardi Gras as we've been hearing from two other people that was their favorite carnival ship. This is a celebration here. I think it's great, but the Mardi Gras apparently is better. Here we got, oh, okay, we're gonna book it. All right, so if you wanna book any cruise, let us know, we can book it for you. It won't cost you an extra penny to book with us. So give it a chance. If it's not your thing, you know, at least you can say you tried it and you don't like it. We are back at it here at the ultimate playground here in the carnival celebration. It's so much fun. There's so much things to do here, but that is beside the point. What is the point of this right now? So the Lost Lion and I were talking about what can I do for his followers? The first five subscribers who actually booked something out of this video from him, as long as you send him a screenshot that you are following him and you send us the link of the video that you got this from, I will give you a 5% discount on the total amount of your cruise. So just hit him up, he will send me your link and your information and I will do you a solid. I'll give you all that and I'll give you all the perks that I can possibly give you during the time of your cruise or of your booking. So yeah, just give him all that information and you know, you might enjoy this. I'm having so much fun in the carnival celebration so far. It's amazing. Love it. All right, we've made it back to our main dining. This is our main dining option. Of course, it's included, no extra cost. Um, they try to sell you some other stuff, but you can just say no, or don't order it. You know, the cool thing is that they always have the same servers. So you'll have this on your table. And it is actually the same table as always. So keep that in mind. You don't have to come and dine here every night. If you don't want to, you can always choose, you know, other options like you've seen in the videos. All right, we got some egg rolls here with some dipping sauce. This, these are all appetizers and all included. You have the pokey with the, with the shrimp. That looks absolutely delicious. And we have the spaghetti carbonara. What did you get? Uh, some mocha with cinnamon. Awesome. Oh, no, no, sorry. A mocha cappuccino with cinnamon. Cappuccino with cinnamon. And we have the famous carnival uh, chocolate lava cake, I think, with ice cream. This thing has like a thousand calories itself. But you know what? I don't care. We don't care, do we? No. All right. We don't care. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> Let's go to the show. She's laughing at me. Don't know why. Dead. <laughs> She's dead. Okay. We're going to watch the circus show. Then we're gonna go do some Harry Potter trivia where I'm not gonna contribute whatsoever, but I'm excited anyways. Mr. Wasan doing his work. He's our room attendant. He's been taking out all this trash. There he is, Mr. Wasan. Say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> anyway. about the circus show the circus show I'll give it a four out of five is actually better than I thought and uh, it's right on the eighth well six seven and eight deck um, the acrobats were amazing the singing was pretty good in my opinion and uh, just all the cool effects actually I was surprised because carnival hasn't shown any good shows to us so far all right now we're gonna do the eight o'clock uh, Harry Potter trivia thing Let me see. Let's see how much of the answer. He actually watched a bunch of Harry Potter films. I'm excited. So we'll see. I am very excited. 
It will be. Where was Harry Potter born? Born to be alive. Oh, that's easy. Where was Harry born? This is kind of cool. Look at the night vibes here. This is pretty interesting. Oh, nice. I love the colors out here. This is very nice. Okay. All right, you can also have dinner at Pig and Anchor. Look at that, 5.30 to 9.30 on specific days. So I love that option. Uh, if you love your barbecue and brisket and meat and all that, you gotta try, you gotta come here, it's very lively. I love the music too. They have a live band at the very end over there. All right, so you're gonna get this paper here. You're gonna put your name, table number, and then you can choose the meats and anything else that you want. So this is kind of cool. You can just put it with the pencil, mark it, and they take your order. Okay, so Guy's Pig and Anchor was really fun. They had live music. We had a little bit of barbecue, onion rings. Amazing. I definitely recommend it late night. It's really good. And then they have like a midnight uh, time for dining on select days. So don't forget that. And with that, we're gonna call it a night. We just had some good food and enjoyed the night, did some trivia and watched the show. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone in the YouTube world. Tomorrow, St. Thomas, at US Virgin Island. My first time there. I think we're gonna have a beach day and explore one or two things. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the morning. See y'all. That is so clear. Oh my gosh. I do not see seaweed or rocks or anything like that. So I did not know that you have to be 18 to drink here on St. Thomas. 